Rocky Memorial. And for this discussion, we're going to talk about legacy. Something that people kind of get confused about with legacy is they think people are either all good or all bad. But with everyone, even our heroes, it's contradictions in their lives. For example, Jefferson actually fought against slavery while he had his slaves himself. So for this, for this discussion, we're going to look at all these different contradictions and how his legacy affects us today. Under the skill leadership of Thomas Jefferson, America was able to double her size. This feat was accomplished due to the Louisiana Purchase and James Moreau. Good leaders know how to delegate. And Jefferson sent James Monroe to talk to the French about the Louisiana Territory in general. Uh, this territory is really interesting because it went from the French to the Spaniards and then secretly it went back to France. This gave the American pause. Would they be harder on the Americans than the Spaniards were? France was having a tough time, dating back to the French and Indian War. Then to top that off, there was a slave revolt in Haiti that France couldn't stop. So surprisingly, in 1803, France was like Louisiana Avant. We, oui, we. Oui. So with that offer to sell, the U.S. became twice as large. Another legacy that Jefferson left behind isn't that great. It involves the legacy of native campaigning. Jefferson and John Adams saw things very differently. In Jefferson's eyes, with things like the Sedition Act, John Adams was walking all over his document, the Constitution. So the two began to have real negative campaigns against each other. Thomas Jefferson said things like Adams was a hermaphrodite. Adams said things like Jefferson was part Native American, part African American, and part white. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this combination. This played to the bigotry and fear of the people back. This is where we enter Abigail Adams. Jefferson's daughter, Mary, also known as Polly, died. In the Jefferson Adam years of friendship, Abigail had become close with Polly. And so she started writing letters to Jefferson of condolences. When Jefferson wrote back, in place of just writing back, thank you for your letter. You and John need to come on to Monticello. Me and Martha will have some mint juleps waiting. We can talk about things. Uh, he didn't do that. Uh, he did say thank you and, up and such, but he went on to complain about the Midnight Justice, a group of people that John Adams put into office right before he left. This opened up bitter wounds. The historical consensus is that Thomas Jefferson did, in fact, father a child with a slave named Sally Hemings. However, for some people, this is hard for them to wrap their head around. Despite the overwhelming evidence, these people hold on tight. And this is where legacy can cause issues. When we look back on the people who are heroes in America, sometimes we don't want to look at their faults. And that could be deadly too. We have spoken about a lot of things that Jefferson has done for the country. But remember, he brought us ice cream and french fries. As we conclude our discussion on Thomas Jefferson, uh, let's talk about some things that go on the radar. Kind of like he invented things like the swivel chair and the lazy Susan. Uh, the reason that we really don't think about this is because all the great things he did and some of the more controversial things that he did, uh, such as his dueling views on slavery, his issues with the Adams, and one second, I'm getting an email alert. Someone's complaining about video games. They don't like what they're saying. I guess someone needs to be reminded of, the, of our First Amendment rights. I guess we'll talk about that next week.